Hey guys, it's Jill and this video is going to be a reading vlog. I'm going to be reading Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. And I got two comments on my bookstore vlog saying how good this book was. So I thought it'd be really fun to read it with you guys and do a reading vlog. And I don't want to get too much into the plot yet from the back, but I know it's kind of a friends to, or I guess they were best friends to enemies, or maybe not enemies, but not friends anymore to um, potentially lovers so i'm going to get right into it and read i think i'm going to read for like 30 minutes so we'll see how far i can get into it at the front before the story the author is saying that they're british and they have a glossary of some terms that you might not know if you don't live there which i will definitely have to refer to later because some things i will probably not understand just things like school like she explains how they're the highest grade you get is an A star. And we're starting off with Celine's point of view. I think I just finished chapter three, so I'm in October now. So pretty much so far, there's this enrichment program that Celine's really interested in because it provides a full ride scholarship if you win, there's like challenges to do. So if you win that, you can get a full ride scholarship to your university of choice. And Celine's also interested in this because I think even if you don't win, it will still look good on college applications and she's very driven and hardworking. So she wants to do everything that she can to make her application look really good. So she really wants to do this, but the guy Bradley, he really didn't have an interest in it. And they kind of had, so they definitely are enemies from both POVs. You can tell they don't like each other. But then they kind of got in an accident. He dropped her by accident, whether it was an accident or not. I think it was because he seems genuine. I don't think he would actually do that. But she thinks that he's trying to sabotage her literally at the start of school so that she can't get into these schools, these universities, sorry. So she fractures her wrist and is not happy about it. But he feels so bad because it was kind of his fault. Not really, but kind of. And he offers to drive her to this presentation i guess about this wilderness camp and enrichment program that she's really interested in the one that's going to give her the scholarship potentially and she thought that was weird because they're not friends they haven't been friends for four years now but she decided to go with him anyway because she didn't really want to go on the bus then at this presentation he is kind of intrigued with the speaker and he kind of realizes oh you know what i want to do this too because if i can get a full ride scholarship that would be really helpful his parents wouldn't have to pay for his school and he could live in a nicer apartment by himself instead of having to get roommates and he said to her that he's interested in it and she She's like, why are you copying me basically? And he said, no, like I'm really interested in this and I think that I'm gonna apply too. And she says, she's like not happy about it. But then also the other thing is that it's really competitive to even get into the program. Apparently at the presentation, there were about 200 people in it, but they only accept 20. And also the 20 people that end up going, few people, a lot of people drop out during because I guess the process is too difficult or something. But yeah, I really like it so far and I like Celine. She's really funny. I have already laughed like a few times while reading this, which I normally don't do with books. But yeah, I'm enjoying it and I am not gonna have time anymore to read tonight, but I'm gonna start October tomorrow. It's the next day and I'm back at my house now. I was at my parents for the week for a reading week, but now it's Sunday, so I have to go back to school tomorrow. But I've read, I think a chapter since I last talked to you guys. And I think that one thing that's gonna be funny coming up soon is that when Bradley and Celine eventually realize that they have feelings for each other and start acting more coupley, I think it'll be funny because Bradley, when he was making friends with this one guy, he told him, Thomas is the friend's name, he said that him and Celine were cousins. So I feel like when they eventually start acting more relationshipy, Thomas will be like, isn't that your cousin? Like, that's weird. But right now, so they obviously are on the wilderness trip together and Celine especially wants nothing to do with him. She's like, I'm gonna pretend like I don't even know this guy. They're in the same group. It's a group of 10 to do this first task, I guess, competition task challenge. And yeah, so they have to work together and we'll see how it goes. But I feel like they'll probably both try to be the leader of the group and start bickering with each other. So I think Bradley and Celine had a miscommunication four years ago. He says here, the Celine I once thought I knew would never have abandoned our friendship so easily, would never have ignored my honest, embarrassing apology, and would never have been so determined to keep us apart this long. So I don't know if it was just because he started hanging out with the cool kids or whatever, but I feel like maybe something bigger than that went down because oh, it seems like it would have been more than just, oh, like you're not hanging out with me anymore because you want to hang out with the cool people. But I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I can't even guess of what I think it might be, but we'll find out. 
So what happened was that four years ago, Bradley and Celine, they were still friends and Bradley was kind of making some new friends and Celine came to the lunch table one time and she was kind of nervous because she hadn't talked to these people before. So she was kind of talking a lot and they were kind of starting to be weird and like be quiet as if they didn't really want her to be there. So she kept getting more nervous and talking more about the things she likes like aliens and conspiracy theories. And then after that, Bradley said to her, could you maybe not talk about that stuff in front of these guys? And she was like, why? Like, like that's what I'm interested in. And he said, it's just a bit weird. So then after that, she kind of snapped at him and was like, okay, well, that's where I am. I'm not gonna change. So I guess we're not gonna hang out anymore. She said to him that he has no integrity and then he said to her, well, sorry people like me but not you and then yeah, that's why they're not friends and honestly it makes sense. I, If I was Celine, I wouldn't really want to be friends with him either if he said that stuff. I'm on page 159 now and they finished the camping I think. I'm kind of confused though because I don't know who won the scholarship so I don't know if there's like a part different parts to the camping if they're going back or what's happening with that oh hi Vicky. but yeah so they got back from that and now at school they're kind of because they were kind of acting like friends during camping now at school it's kind of weird and all they really say to each other is hello pretty much not really even talking but at the end of this part here because i just finished the october oh november part and i'm in december now they kind of agreed to try to be friends again and act more like how they were when they were at camping and they also apologized to each other about what happened in the past for years prior and then in his head bradley admitted that he kind of has a thing for celine so i'm sure from celine's point of view which is the next one she's going to admit the same thing but yeah i'm on the december part now and i think that i'm going to take a break for a little bit i have to study which is annoying but I think I'll still read a little bit more later today. I'm a little bit more than halfway through now, chapter 11, and so far I think it's good. And I didn't mention this before, but Celine's dad, he's like a big shot lawyer, I guess, at a really good firm. And his firm was actually a sponsor of the trip that they went on, the camping trip with the scholarship deal and everything. Her and her sister are talking and her sister is saying to her, why are you trying to impress dad? when he was very much an absent parent he left them when they were very young i believe for another woman and had kids with the other woman and celine said i'm not doing it for dad although it would be a bonus if he saw that i'm successful and capable and whatnot and she said she was actually doing it for her mom to prove to her mom that she was worth staying with and instead of leaving like her dad did which was really sad to read and then she goes and talks to brad about this whole situation because her sister's kind of like what are you doing you should do what you want not do things because you think that the dad will see or whatever but i liked that when her and bradley were talking about this whole situation that bradley wasn't just telling her what she wanted to hear he was being honest and saying you know what honestly your sister's kind of right and it seems like that's what you are doing and it's very much a self-reflection moment for celine and then also bradley opens up to her about his future and what his hopes and dreams are because he is going to be applying to unis however his dream is really to become an author and he's been trying to write i think a science fiction novel for a while now and just hasn't been able to finish it and has been really frustrated with that so i don't think he really shares that with other people so he shared that with her and that was kind of a special moment i would say and i think actually that they're going to have their first kiss it's the start of chapter 11 but i think i'm gonna wait for tomorrow i have a little bit more studying to do i have an exam tomorrow so i'm gonna do some more studying tonight but tomorrow i will come back to this and i mm, will i finish this tomorrow maybe i'll finish it tomorrow but i have other things to do too Hey guys, it's been two days since I last updated you. I actually wasn't able to read yesterday. I was so busy with schoolwork. But I just started chapter 11 and I'm pretty sure that Brad is going to tell Celine that he's kind of into her. And as we know, Celine's also a tiny bit into him as well. So I feel like this is going to be the start of the relationship. But we'll see what happens. It's funny though because he's super nervous and like you can hear his not here. I'm reading his thoughts and he's so nervous and he doesn't really know what to do. He's like freaking out internally and it's just kind of cute. Oh no, he just said that he really likes her and then she just like tumbled out of bed because she was probably so freaked out but then she goes, oh of course I like you and he goes, right, of course we're friends and, and she says, 
that's what you mean right as friends and he's like he actually is telling her that it's not just his friends i'm kind of surprised that he's so upset about this in a good way that's good so they just established that they do both like each other however celine is very practical thinking and she says i don't want to go to school with a boyfriend or potentially lose him after i think she said it's december so in 10-ish months they'd be if they don't go to the same school they'd be separated and have to do long distance which she thinks would be really hard and just she just thinks it wouldn't even work out but bradley really wants to try and he's like i want to see where this can go and selena's thinking how she would rather just not have a boyfriend at all rather than have a boyfriend and then leave in 10 months and then be heartbroken or upset right before school which honestly kind of makes sense but brad is not really having any of it and he's kind of just like annoyed because his dad was saying oh maybe that doesn't seem like a great idea since you're going away to school and now Celine's saying the same thing well like I don't know because school is coming up soon school as in uni I think obviously Celine will eventually come around to the idea of being together with him so hopefully that's soon though because they're super cute together I really like them I love Celine she's such a good character she so the camp thing was sponsored by her dad's law firm and now they're having a meeting with the girl that was in charge of that and for some reason her dad's at the meeting and he sees her and says celine and she goes i'm sorry do i know you <laughs> like she's just such i just love her she's so great also i was right before the first camping trip that they went on wasn't the last one there's another one that they still have to go on to determine the winner of the scholarship so i don't know if they're going on that soon or what's going on but yeah Hello baby cookie, you're so cute. So for a while now, I think it's been a few months, they have kind of been having a friends with benefits situation going on, which is not great. Um, I think he was hoping this whole time that Celine would eventually change her mind about wanting to date him because he's really into her and wants to date her. And then they go to the last part of this expedition camping trip contest and he realizes that he wants to talk to Celine again about the whole situation and he wants to ask her to give him a chance in terms of a relationship so i really don't know what she's going to say because she really likes him but also just with the whole university thing she's not sure of if she wants to have that commitment but obviously i'm hoping that she says yes because i think they're so cute together but i'm almost done i'm definitely going to finish today i'm on page 267 and i think there's about 300 pages left so I'll probably get this done in the next hour. So that didn't go well. Um, he was gonna tell her that he wants to date her and then they got into a fight. And obviously he's kind of upset about it and he's showing it and she's asking him, why are you being like this? Like you're being rude. Uh, this is frustrating because they're both liking each other and they both wanna be together. But they're just, I guess they're young, so it makes sense why they're not really communicating very well. I just feel like if they both said what they had to say and they were honest, it would just be so much easier. They could be happy and be together. I think that Celine thought that he was going to say, let's not do this anymore. But he was actually going to say, I want to be more like boyfriend and girlfriend. So before he, this is confusing, but she thought that he was going to break up with her essentially so she kind of initiated it first and said we should stop seeing each other and then he probably took that as a rejection so then he's just like okay whatever and then he's acting all rude and stuff so yeah it's just a miscommunication i just finished the book and it was so good they ended up together and they were obviously so meant for each other besides the romance too she had a really good conversation with her mom about her dad and how she was feeling about that and how she wanted to start maybe doing therapy this book definitely lived up to the hype that i had in my head because i heard so many people talking about it i had pretty high expectations but I will definitely be reading more books by Talia Hibbert. She was a really great author and I really, I just enjoyed the book a lot. I would give it, I think, a four stars, which for me is a really good rating. I literally have less than five books that I've given five stars. Four stars in my head is like, I really, really liked it, but not enough to give it five stars, if that makes sense. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. But with that, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought about it in a comment down below. Or even if you have any general book recommendations for me, I would love to hear it. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the algorithm and helps with my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.